Uh, well, okay, so earlier in the show, we talked safety because you'd mentioned that's a really important issue. So maybe we should start there before we get into all the tips and strategies and things you can do. So tell okay. us a bit more about why you think safety is such an important thing. Well, first and foremost, Rod, is most people think 120 volts, that can't hurt you, but it can. Mm -hmm. And I'll demonstrate that with this wiener we've got hooked up here to Are you 120 gonna do that? volts. Yeah. Do you want to show that right away? Or? Yeah. And I mean, this could be your finger or this could be your heart. So before just... we get to that, okay, so 110, 120 volts is your standard electrical power voltage, right? In your home, you have 120, 240 coming okay. into the house. So you've got two legs of 120. They're 180 degrees out of phase of each other. So between them, there's 240. Okay. Between each leg and ground or neutral is 120. Okay, and the reason that we were going to do this is we want to show that the power there's a lot of power in that power, right? In yeah, in okay. just even a 120 volt bedroom outlet. So just what are you going to do with this demonstration? You've got a hot dog wired up here. How? Like you've got a couple prongs yeah. in there. Yeah, I've got basically the hot wire clipped okay. into it. Yeah. The neutral wire clipped. Tell into me when it, I can plug it in. And the ground and it, the breaker is on. So go ahead and plug it. Breaker's in. Breaker's on. Let's. Okay, well, let's plug that in. Now you can hear it I starting can hear the to sizzle hum. there. Can you hear now that? You can off imagine. The mic? If you leave that for a bit, it'll actually split. Okay, well, let's leave it for a bit. Now, um, uh, you can imagine if that's just your finger, hey, fingers, they don't grow back. All right. But if that's your heart or any other critical tissue, that Absolutely. can kill you. So 120 volts, yes, very dangerous. Okay, so I, I have to stop that, actually. I should have I should ate before we came because that's smelling pretty good. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> um, you know what, though? Um, i got to be honest. Like uh, That is dangerous, but I've gone to power boxes where I thought I've turned the power off and I've hit the wrong one because the, the box isn't labeled, and you start to feel that buzz. Yeah, that's That's, not good. that's when you know you're that's, still hot. That's your hot dog starting to cook is <laughs> what you're feeling. Well, that was scary. Um, that's pretty scary. So uh, basically, yes. yeah, the power off. That's the main thing you want to do. Even shutting the switch off if you're going to replace a light fixture mm -hmm. doesn't guarantee that there's no power in the box because okay. I may have brought power into the light box first and then out to the switch to be switched. It's a common, like common a wiring method. Correct. A junction kind of thing? Yeah, that's okay. called a switch leg drop is one of these switches is wired that way. Yep. So I power comes in first, you send it down to the switch to get turned off. Okay or on yeah. and back to the light. So you shut the light switch off, the light's out, but there's still 120 volts in that outlet. Because it's running to somewhere right. else and that kind of thing. So you want to make sure not just the switch, get the breaker shut off. And that's just the, the one breaker. If you're not sure, then you just bet you have to go backtrack and like, double check all of what your breakers uh, are supposed to be Right, and, and prove that it's off. So one good way, there's mm -hmm. voltage testing equipment of all okay. shapes and sizes and complexity. Well, what you but want, we the want best to, way yeah. any homeowner has at home is a, a lamp or a radio, an electric plug radio. In. Plug it in, turn it up, go downstairs and shut off breakers until you hear the radio quit. Yeah. Then you know it's dead. You, you get in shape doing that too. That's right. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Okay, well, that's great. Well, you mentioned voltage meters and stuff. We're going to talk about those and we're going to look at some other tools uh, when we talk more with Terry. But again, Help TV, we're powering it up today.